You're listening to The Unpenned Show with Paul and Andy, broadcasting live around the world. We believe freedom is free. It is enslavement that you're paying for. If you ain't mad by now, you're not paying attention. So, welcome to The Unpenned Show. We are live and loud and clear. He's back. I'm back. Tuesday, the 10th of September, 2013. Month number nine, but it starts with month number seven, and I'm delighted to say hello to my best friend. <laughs> Good evening, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> my name is Paul. My name's Andy. And we are live on awakeradio.co.uk and simulcasting on Blog Talk as well. It is our two-hour Tuesday. It is. Making sense of the madness that we see through our own eyes. We don't believe what the people tell us because... They're just relaying, aren't they? They are, They're yeah. playing a relay race. Mm-hmm. They're passing the bat on yeah. to you. <laughs> you know, bat on. Let's bat yeah, let's on. Bat on, yeah. Yeah, let's pass the relay. You know, really, really. If you can't feel it, and you can't taste it, and you can't touch it, and you can't smell it, and you can't see it, mm-hmm. why would you believe it? <laughs> why would you believe anything like that? <laughs> You know, don't you, this weapon of mass distraction. It is. This is the ultimate wizard's tool, isn't it? Yep. And the wizard lives in here because he asks you, <laughs> would you like the wizard to help yeah, you? Yeah, the set-up wizard. <laughs> this is the very magic that is going to captivate and is and has captivated a planet. Mm-hmm. Planet Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood, magic, Merlin, wizard planet mm. and they've planned it to the detail down to it's impressive isn't end. it it's yes. impressive because in our heads we're not only the script writers we're not only the producers and the set designers we arrange the costumes and we put on our show we do and whether you believe it or not that is what the program is inside your head and like everybody who puts on shows, some are more popular than others. Mm. And do you know the difference between, the, between our show and other shows? We don't care <laughs> if you're not listening. We nope. do not care if you're not listening. Because I don't know anybody who really means what I'm going to say next, but I know I do, and I know you do. If you're listening, we're very, very grateful. Yes, we if are. If you comment, we're more than grateful. And if you don't like it, we're very grateful <laughs> because it doesn't matter no, it doesn't. because this weapon of mass <laughs> distraction will always find something that you're very interested in mm-hmm. and you go and fill your boots but I'm not bound to be interested in it no and neither are you are you no so it's finding people who are interested in the same thing isn't it it is yeah that's the thing that's and, the and key w- to why, it why do we feel the right that when we meet somebody new we try and impress our opinions and our points of view and the way we would like them to see us. And if they're not agreeable, we don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts, isn't it? It is, yeah. Because they're thinking exactly the same thing about you. <laughs> just exactly word for word. Tried to do the same. Don't you. listen, butt in. I think my point of view is rubbish. I've spent my life researching UFOs. <laughs> so they're important. Yeah. And they are. Mm. To you. Find people that you can share things of value with. Yes. That's and if you're arguing, you've not figured this out properly, have you? You haven't actually got the hang of what it is you should be doing. Because there are so many flavours in here that you're never going to find one exactly like yours. But the idea is, like all good things, you've got to get a mixer, haven't you? <laughs> You see, and we use a mixer, don't we? Do we? Mixer, yeah. And you've got to have a mixer to blend to this blend music it all together. together. And you've got to mix it in a way that the listener appreciates it. Mm-hmm. And if they don't appreciate it, you've got two problems. Either one, you're broadcasting to the wrong audience, or two, you're broadcasting the wrong show. Mm-hmm. But guess what? You're wrong on both occasions. <laughs> so... Welcome to Internet Radio Land. Yeah. The loneliest place, actually. One of the loneliest (laughs) radio stations I've ever been associated with. (laughs) And by lonely, I mean that uh, you do get to sit home. There is very little interaction. And we have to play... We have to play the game of life, don't we? Mm -hmm. I'd I'd rather play tunes that make everybody happy and tell stories that you sit around and enjoy. I'd like to make you laugh and cry. And I'd like to make you think. and, And I'd like to make you... 
wonder about the, the world that we live in. And I'd like to do all that in about an hour and a half with your help. Mm -hmm. We'll try. Uh, and, and I'd like to leave you with an impression of, I feel that something helped me there. And whatever it is, there's nothing to say thank you. Take it away and enjoy it. Mm. Because what we mix is for everybody to have a taste. Yeah. If you don't like it, spit it out. Mm. But don't spit it at us. <laughs> All right? Because we gave you it for free. Mm. This is our free time. Yeah. Now, a lot of people don't value their time in a way that gets them to be paid. And by that, I mean a lot of people think that they have to be paid in monetary valuations. Mm -hmm. And to survive in the crazy money chase that we live, it's yeah, true. That is true. It yeah. is true. If you don't devote enough of your time generating the very things that you need to survive, mm -hmm. then, then you're not good for anything else, really. You're not no. really good for anything else. If you don't have what you need and have a little bit of time left to do what you want... You're going to wither. Uh, you, you, you're, you're not going to get anywhere, actually, no. because you, you, you're truly like the, 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 the water going down the plug hole, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you're swimming to keep from drowning. We're all drowning, technically, in this debt. Mm -hmm. Whether you're in debt or not, it doesn't matter, because collectively we've been socialised into this debt. It's not our debt. It's no, not it our isn't. responsibility, but it's been, it's been placed on our accounts. Yes. And we're having to work longer, and uh, our children invariably are going to have to work a lot longer, and our grandchildren, uh, whether our children can afford for them to be born, is now mm. becoming questionable. It is becoming questionable, you know, that we, we, one, yeah. We all, we all hear these, these, these doom and gloom and naysayers. And, and rather than believe the rubbish that I hear on the internet, because 90% of, of it is, is recycled rubbish. Mm. You know, we, we've been taught to recycle, but you go on the internet and it's recycled. I've heard this before, I've heard this before, I've heard this before. And you, you have, because you either do your own show and it's yours, or you do a show and it's just made up of mm. other, other people's shows. Yeah. And, and I'm not knocking that, but I, I don't. That's 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 work. That's wasting your time. Yeah. You know, I said last week that when you get to a certain age, and I think that age is around about fifty, you do get to look back at the terrible mistakes that I personally made, mm -hmm. and I made some terrible mistakes. I mean, I do give a little, you know, give a, uh, quite a little bit away online if you listen, but that's only me thinking I'm giving it away. A lot of people think, mm -hmm. well, I don't get what he means. I don't get what he means. Um, uh, if someone said, "Are you married?" I'd say, "Yeah, I tried it." And you know what? I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I, I absolutely... The girl that I married, I couldn't have been more attracted to her. But guess what I bought? Guess what I bought when I got married? I bought the outside. Bought, yeah, you bought the box. I bought the outside. Yeah. And I know I did. And it's not her fault. No. I, I couldn't have been more attracted to her. And I, I couldn't... I couldn't be. I fell for the outside. Mm. And... Didn't really know what to look for on the inside. No. I didn't have the experience. <laughs> life, life is about experience. And you've got to have tried and failed and tried and succeeded and tried and failed. And you've got to have looked at Pratt and made an ass of yourself. And you've got to have been so sure about something that when you were wrong... You, you, you were still sure it, it were right. It, it bloody yeah. hurt, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it did hurt. Life's experiences teach you a little bit about humility, doesn't it? But it also teaches you a little bit about uh, don't waste your time on things that don't matter. Mm. And uh, that's what I try and do with the show. And I know you sit down and you nod away and say, oh, I'm pr we're pretty much from the same place, aren't we? <laughs> we are, really. We're pretty yeah. much from the yeah. same way of thinking, the same place. We, we it sounds like we're criticising everybody else. And if you're hearing it and you think it's critical, it is. Yeah. But it's self-critique. Mm. It's me almost annoyed with myself yeah. of how much time I wasted... Mm. On this bloody weapon of mass distraction. Yes. How much time I bloody wasted, and I argue with myself, did I need to waste that time to learn it was a waste of my time? Mm. Or was it not a waste of my time, and only now I've walked away, do I realise that it gave me what I needed, but I spent too much time learning it? Yeah. Because there was too much on offer. Yes. Do you, do you agree with too that? much time, yeah. There yeah. was too much on offer. I didn't focus properly. Anyway, welcome to the show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my name's Paul. And my name's Andy. The brilliant comedian that is Mr. Lee Evans. We like him, don't we? We do. Do you yep. think, think we'll ever get him on the show? <laughs> I have emailed him twice <laughs> over time. Yeah, just, twice I have. Just to see. He's not replied. No, I'm... He, he's not replied. Far too busy. So, go on, now let's do the obligatory 
How was the Smuggler's Cave oh, the Holiday? Smuggler's ha- yeah, Smuggler's Cave Holiday was very good, yeah, very sunny and nice and... A.K.A. 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 Robin Hood's Bay. Robin Hood's Bay, that's Smuggler's Cave, yes. That's yeah. the one. Mm-hmm. The Hovis Hill. <laughs> I've got the Hovis lo- tuners in here. <laughs> it is in here. Loaf of bread under one ham. Set off. <laughs> I had to have a pint at the bottom. That <laughs> is. I set off up. That is, you know, that is. <laughs> Steve, who's, who's part of looking, after, looking after a week, he calls you the Hovis guy. The Hovis guy, yeah. Mr. Hovis guy this week, he said. <laughs> that was last week. Mr. Hovis guy. <laughs> but yes, it's. Um, you've got to do it. I mean, it does prove, doesn't it? Accents. We do, why do we have regional accents? Do you know why? It's because we don't go far away from home still. We don't. <laughs> we don't go far away. Even now, with today's modern uh, ways of travelling and, you know, the, the world's, well, the world's within only your finances. You can go where you want, really. You can, yeah. Still, we don't go far away from home, do we? No, we like home. You like where you're born and bred, don't you? Is it clever, born though? Isn't it clever? Mm. That no matter which country you gave me to choose, I'd still stay here. Because I don't trust the government. <laughs> no. I know this system is becoming more corrupt every moment. Mm. But still, England is home. Yeah. This is where, I, this is where I'm from. Mm-hmm. And this is where I'll stand and stay. And whatever fight that I have to put up, mm. I'll do it. Yeah. And they know that. <laughs> they know that. Through indoctrination and flags, and through things teaching us things that aren't true, mm. that we won the Second World War. No, we, we didn't win anything. <laughs> we sit here saying, we w- I wasn't even bloody born. No, I'm... My mother wasn't born until 1940, bloody three. We didn't win anything, did we? No. Our grandparents didn't. We revel in their, in, in, in their suffering. Mm. We glorify their suffering. We do. But we don't bloody defend it, do we? No. Because this country is falling without a shot. Mm. It's falling without a shot. Yeah. We're a European superstate. Or mm-hmm. part of the European super state. We are, and it was put in place with the Versailles Treaty. It's, you, it's, it's what let Hitler come to power, and they've got this fascist system in through the back door. But it's always been a fascist system. It has, yes. It's always. That's the we, illusion we, we, of we it. We look as if yeah. things are progressing in a way that uh, we've gone from um, what, what we would call community and, and freedom of sorts, democracy, which is mm. an interesting word. It is. You know, is it communism? Is it socialism? Is it, uh, is it capitalism? Is Fundamentalism, it, is it, is it, it, multiculturalism. It, it's whatever what is it? bloody flavour you it want. It is, yeah. Mm. It's a control system that's utilised by governments around the world. Around the world, a template. And as each generation yeah. goes by, the education of the next one has to be altered to include all that's new. Mm. So whatever, whenever something new comes along, it has to be put into the education system. That education system then changes. Yeah. So the generation that are looking down one, it doesn't suit them. It's not the same as theirs. No. And it's changing faster and faster. Mm-hmm. I mean, we think that, um, and I hear it all the time, and I'm guilty myself of, uh, well, people who can't spell properly. Mm-hmm. But some of the greatest poets that, poets that ever lived. They didn't give a bugger. No, I just they wrote. couldn't spell. <laughs> they just wrote it. Just it, wrote it down, yeah. Cause it you look at old English, and we've got all sorts of versions of words because mm-hmm. they just spelled it how they want. Yeah. Because as far as they were concerned, they were the magicians. Yeah. They were the magi that were writing. Mm. It, it made sense to them when they were writing it down. So. And we've been taught the same thing now. Mm. But unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not saying that's a good thing. No, it isn't. I mean either. No, no, it isn't. No, this because we're going back in time to when, you know, the, 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 the poets that were, they, they, they didn't worry about the spelling, they just wrote what they wanted. We live in a different world now. Mm. Now we can all read and write. And um, our vocabulary, uh, whether we like it or not, consists of probably about 1,500 words, would you know? Mm. Out of all the words we can pick, there's about 1,500, and that vocabulary is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. I suspect for most people, it's 800 or below. Mm. There's many more words we could choose, but we reuse the ones that we're familiar with yeah. and dispense with the rest because if we don't hear them enough, they lose popularity. Mm-hmm. And once they're not popular, then we don't find y- the need to keep using them. No, you lose the understanding of them as well, don't you? Uh, we do over time, yeah, we do. The amount of times I have to go in a dictionary and look up a word when well, I'm reading a book. You've seen the dictionaries that I've got kicking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But these are things that we don't know in one lifetime, with, unless mm. unless we're told, or unless we read, or unless we learn. We we, we never we never see the, the very small opportunity we have of what we call a lifetime. And I know 
the language is designed to make us feel small and weak and almost of no, of no consequence to the future. But you have a choice. First of all, define the future. You know, what is your future that you can define? Mm. Because if it's to change the world, then my next question is how big is your world? Yeah. Because if you can't affect change with those that are closest to you, your chances of affecting change with people you've Somebody never else, met a far, yeah, are uh, slim to zero. Yeah, very and what I'm doing here is I'm saying to people who, who have just started out on this journey, maybe, maybe a week in, a month in, a, six months in, a year in, don't give up. No. But keep going. Yeah, you've, you got know, to you, keep you've got to keep going. You, a lot of people stop at a point that they find of interest. Mm. And there are loads of distractions along the way. Many, many distractions. A lot of people, instead of carrying on the journey, mm. they turn off or stop, stop proceeding forward. Whether it be the law, uh, whether it be um, history of the myths and the legends, the UFOs, the, the mm. aliens, the planets, Climate the change, esoteric yeah. stuff. <laughs> These are all fantastic subjects. Mm. But to focus on one is to miss the connection to all the other. Uh -huh. Because every yeah. system in there is is stacked upon the previous one. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure the governments around the world, the majority of them know that climate change is propaganda mm -hmm. designed to unite those governments in one common cause, common cause yeah, and common then purpose. to get paid from it. Yeah. Because yeah. governments around the world have always, always, always lied to their people. And there's one thing that I ask, ask all people who are listening to, to, to bear in mind. The people that you hear talking like you and I, right? This system is designed to fleece us. Mm -hmm. All above us know, in some part, what we are just discovering. The books that I've read confirm this without a shadow of a doubt. Yep. These books are 80 years old, mm -hmm. and they speak as if this system has been around since antiquity. Yeah. And the answer is, it would appear it has. It has been, yeah. Okay. We, we're, not, we're never going to get the education that the higher-ups get. Because if we knew what they knew, we wouldn't go to work for them. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. You, you, you can't... <laughs> you, 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 you can't... You won't work for your master unless you accept that he is your master. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got an entire planet, almost, I think... You know, if you came down here to visit and, and perhaps look through seven days of what we'll call the popular news mm. and you'd never been here before, you would pick up the following information from the newspapers. And that is that the health service is trying its hardest but not succeeding. Yeah. The number of people it's treating is increasing, mm. which means we're getting more sick. Mm -hmm. This is the complete opposite of what a health service should be doing. Mm. Right, treating you when you're sick is the after event of trying to keep you healthy. Yeah. But what about the food, Paul? Well, that's in the papers as well. Mm. About how they openly tell us that the food that they're making for us, that we can afford to buy mm. in our supermarket, <laughs> right, the food in the supermarket is still priced at, at a level you can afford, mm -hmm. and you can be happy that you're eating cooked chicken, you can be happy that you're eating plastic ham, mm. you can have rubber cheese, Mm -hmm. You can have milk that the guy who runs the dairy down here won't buy. You can, you can have all those things at a price that you're happy paying. But the papers clearly tell you, this food is not good for us. Mm -hmm. This food is not good for us. The medicines that we're given, we have question marks over the medicines because they only treat, they never cure. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the banking system, <laughs> which creates a control system out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to the politicians, who administer a control system through deception. Let's go on to the Ministry of Attack, who appears to make up stories, and it's all in the papers, <laughs> who appears to make up stories using the same version of events that this tyrant, this dictator, is harming his own people with things that we sold him previously. Mm. So we must go in and save those poor people by levelling the country. Mm. And, <laughs> and we're eating the chemical weapons out. We go and buy them from the supermarket. But They're our chemical weapons. These, we're eating them. But these are things that you can read in the last seven days' yeah. newspapers. Mm. So you have to ask yourself, 
What would a visitor from outer space say <laughs> to the population of, let's just pick our lovely little country, England? What would he say? He would say, I think, they are thousands. You are millions. But you cannot get your message out, can you? Mm. You cannot broadcast in a way that people can hear you. And do you know why you can't broadcast in a way that people can hear you? Because you're broadcasting to children who don't like bad news. Mm. That's your problem. And anybody else who would be listening is probably part of the control system. And you are their food. You are pay them mm -hmm. by a little trick of deception where the government takes from you and gives to them mm -hmm. if your public servants had to come to your house to get paid they would understand their relationship but they don't they don't know they go to the force okay may the force be with you mm -hmm. because we have money extracted from us whether we like it or not. They extract it and then pay their own millions to run the administration. Yep. And by that little, that little interception, our servants don't look at us in the same way. We make it and they take and it. They take it, yeah. And they make the rules to take everything we've got. Mm -hmm. They are thousands. We are millions. Mm -hmm. So why don't the people working for the government stand up? <laughs> you know why, don't they? I do, yeah. You walk by the hand that feeds you. <laughs> if you have to work for the system, it's because you don't want to do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the please sir, may I have a job? The and please the sir, may I have a job? Please <laughs> please I'll 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 do anything. The amount of services that they control. Mm -hmm. It's over 50%, isn't it? Is it 50%, well, 56%? Well, one way or another, the people who get paid by government is well over 50. Some say 57. Mm. Mm. Some say 57. I think the uh, the Ruskies got it up to about 69 before they collapsed. They did, yeah. But there again, I'm using figures from, yeah, the, from people who want to tell me figures. Of course, yeah. The, they have people sat there that work these statistics But what out. are these visitors to the planet going to say? <laughs> what would be the solution when they, they listen to us chattering and trying to inform what is a rather couldn't care less public what what do you think their, their solution what, what their, their actual solution to the problem would be fix yourself fix nobody yourself, else is listening yeah fix your own world because nobody else is listening mm. have we been made this way or is it human, na human nature mm, have we no. always been like this the answer is no of course we haven't no 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 through the trick of religion we've been altered slowly we have slowly but surely we've been altered mm -hmm. you know there was a time when uh, giving up your first child for the gods was uh, absolutely just the way it was done yes <laughs> absolutely just the way it was done there was a time when having a mistress um was absolutely fine it was just mm -hmm. the way it was done there was a time when uh women were not even second-rate citizens mm -hmm. they weren't they would uh, they weren't seen as anything other than um the breeding stock that they no, need to be exactly. so some and, and in some, the world, and it's and in still, some, I was still say, going in some areas on. around the world, it's still going on. Yeah, yeah. That brings me to an interesting question about bloodlines, you know. Mm. Because when we talk about bloodlines, and we do know the people above us are rather, yeah, they're rather interested. We, we, they say maintaining the bloodlines, but what they're really doing is they're actually keeping the money in the family, aren't they? Yeah. You marry somebody else with similar similar sort of status, mm. so one won't try and rob the other. It's the merging of the families and the uniting of what is whatever business interest they have. Yep. But this is the upper middle class, isn't it? The aristocracy are, are way above. They, they, they don't work. No. <laughs> They're past working. But the upper middle class, I mean, they, they still do this sort of thing, don't they, with the, you know, the ones with the nearly stately homes and that sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, the proper stately homes now, the, uh, <laughs> the aristocracy can't afford to live in them, can no, they? No, we, we have one just down the road here, don't so we? So the National Trust take over them, so, and then, yes, and the then we, we, pay, we, we, we pay for them yeah, as well. <laughs> <laughs> bloody genius isn't it <laughs> but black to the bloodlines mm. I'm quite curious right because all bloodlines are traced through the male 
aren't they? Yes. It's the mill that's traced back, isn't it? Yeah. It's the mill bloodline that back and back and back and back. Yep. Why is it the mill? Mm. Because there is no male blood in that baby. There isn't. Because that baby is made inside mum. Mm. And the only blood that baby gets is mum's. It's mum's blood, yeah. So is this another counterfeit chase we've been put on? Mm. That we're chasing the male bloodline. And maybe, maybe, it's the female bloodline mm. that matters. That's just a thought, by the way. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Yeah. It is just something that I it thought to myself, you know, why do we always do the guys? Men ask, yeah, men are scared of women, aren't they, generally? I would have said 80, 90% of men are scared of women. They are. I mean, I'm scared of Janet Street Porter. I just, I, I don't like her at all. I, if she walked across, I've seen her in Pateley Bridge, she was walking up one side of the street that I were on, I crossed over and went down the other side of the street just to avoid her. I, I just don't, you just gives off a demeanour that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> but some dogs are scared of cats. Yeah, I suppose. Some yeah. dogs are scared of cats, and she <laughs> certainly is. What do we call them um, female dogs? Uh, Janet Street Pot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we all have our own interpretation, don't we? We do, but... You know, in this wonderful world of Disney, which is really becoming, you know, for the kids now, it is becoming Disneyland, isn't it? Mm. But in this wonderful world, we all seem to want the same thing and feel badly at it. And the number one reason is, it's, it's, it's money. It's money, isn't yeah. it? It's money. We don't have enough to survive. Mm -hmm. we, we, and if we do just have enough to survive, it's just survival. Mm -hmm. It squeezes tight, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. I yeah. always see the people at the bottom, and I include myself, by the way. It's like the two penny falls, isn't it, at, at, at mm -hmm. the seaside? Yeah, sugar You keep penny. putting the money in, Chup they keep putting the money in, and a few fall off the end, and oh, some more have gone. Mm -hmm. And that's how the system's been working for a long time, by the way. It is. You know, this isn't new at all. What we find out isn't new. Is it accelerating? Well, it feels like it's accelerating because my learning's accelerated. Mm -hmm. Has it always been this way? I can find evidence that says, it's yes, it's always been this way. Has the world always been on the verge of ending? Yes, it would appear so, because... Biblically, they keep rec recreating what's in the Bible they do, to yeah. make religions around the world believe that the end is nigh. Mm -hmm. You know, and they've been doing this for a long, long time. And it is, yeah. It's just a template to whiz us all round and round and round. They keep well, playing the same tune. You played PPK Resurrection at the start of the yeah, show. Yeah. Or that reason yeah. being, but yeah. that's what it is. It's all mm -hmm. about us going round and round and round. And the is. Bible is just a template to make us go round and round, round and round. round. The propaganda that is government, they, they work off that and they make us go round and round and round. And that's how it should feel, actually, because we are going round and round, crossing the sky, as Horus was in his time. Mm. I mean, the, the swastika we know is the rolling wheel of Horus, it isn't is, it? yeah. It's, but that's how it feels when you, when you actually figure this out, doesn't it? Mm. And I know a lot of people, <coughs> a lot of people say that the control system above us, they have no compassion, they have no empathy, they don't feel, they don't care. Look around. Mm. Look around. Okay, look around. Who does care? Mm. Did, did, I mean, I know the one that's listening now, you, you say you do. I tr yeah, but, I, but I, I give a, myself a little bit. I try look, to care. Have a look in the mirror. Mm. Because caring comes with a proviso, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. As long as I'm okay. Yeah. I, I can only care if I'm all right. But that's the truth of it. I'm it not is. being nasty to anybody. No. You can't help others if you haven't already helped yourself yeah, yeah. and found yourself in a place where you are stable and mm. balanced and can help another yeah. up. Yeah. You know, in the analogy of drowning, mm. you either help them out or they either drag you down. Yeah. But you've got to be in a secure, mm. you know, a secure boat, as it were. Yeah. You know, if you're going to fish them out, mm -hmm. um, you need to have the, the ability to fish them out. Mm. Um, so... That's and sort of the analogy that I'm trying to show is that get yourself sorted first. You do, and you you have you do your little bit, don't you? I know you've given fish and chips away for free. I've done little bits of jobs for people for free, um, and and you do try and do your little bit, but it's, it, you're, you're only scratching the surface. You just think if if tell me the truth, what you want to say? Go on, you're, you're <laughs> well, not saying what you want here, if, are you? If if we if we all if we if, if you could get rid of this money thing, and you're never going to do, you're never going to get rid of that, unfortunately. Whether it be credits or whichever way it's going to go in the future. If you want to play the game of how it could work, we can do that. Yeah. And I enjoy it mm. as a mental exercise. Yes. 
But, but you, <laughs> then, I don't pretend we can do no, it. No, you start picking out all the pitfalls as you go along. Let's have a look at a new political system. Let's think of a way that it would be... And you only have to go back in time mm. and discover something called sortition. <laughs> sortition in ancient Greece. <coughs> um, even their politicians were untrusted. Mm. And they said that um, to eliminate the possibility of corruption, however it may surface. All those that want to be a politician, put your name mm. up. And do you know how they did it? By lottery. <laughs> By lottery. Put, the, put your name in a hat and yeah. picked it out. By lottery, yeah. Mm. Would that be better or worse than we've got now? <laughs> <laughs> It'd take a while to corrupt them all, wouldn't it? It would, yeah, yeah. But have a think about that. Mm. The special interests wouldn't have to hold. The the special relationships would no longer be in no, place. No, no, the, the networking thing, the it, times... The old boys' the, club. The, yeah, the bribery and the, yeah. the, the lobbying and... And, what, and the fact of the matter is it. that if, if somebody stood up and said, I wanted to do it... Mm. Yeah. Then they would have as much chance as anybody else of getting mm. in. Yeah. So if we did make it into a lottery... Mm. We would end up with 600 and some independents who would immediately join together in parties. Yeah. Who would immediately <laughs> join forces. <laughs> and then the corruption can be begin again. <laughs> That's probably what would happen. It would. That's you probably you can because, see because we're tribal. People would be tempted. We're it, tribal. It, and you, you can't vouch for everybody. Well, they just gang up on. They just, mm. they just would. I know. I, I it's know. It's a school playground. I, it's funny because I, I was thinking about that the, uh, last week while we were with. I'd, I'd love to stand as a politician, and, but um, not not for any party and not not as an independent. But you can't do that because it, you have to vote in your constituency. We know now where we've been split into nine regions now, haven't we? This country has. It's not been announced yet properly, has it? Has it? No, but we it have. Last November, was it? it well, was yeah, it's, it's been regionalised, but yeah, we have the been regions... We, we, I've been aware of them over four years, mm. of how the regions are going to be, but this is only through knowing local council yeah. stuff and following a little bit. Mm. It was in the newspapers a year ago, but nobody spotted it, did they? I heard nobody talking about it on here at all. We no. mentioned it, and nobody... We have been re regionalised into nine control centres. We have. Of roughly the same amount of people in each sort of yeah. region, as it were. Mm. But they're not ready to introduce it yet. The, 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 no. They're behind time. They wanted it in this year. Mm. They wanted the boundaries changing this year. Yeah. And the but they're behind time. I mean, we should take some encouragement that this system is taking them longer to get it in than the It is longer. To, yeah. It is taking longer. <laughs> we are putting up a little bit of resistance here and there, aren't we? <laughs> well, just look at Syria. Mm. You know, look at the news that's coming out now. I mean, we can slate the press, but we all use it. Yeah. We can slate the mail online, but that's where everybody goes. Mm hmm why do we go? That's where everybody goes. Yeah. Do we believe it? No. But look at the new stories they're bringing out. We did supply the chemical weapons to Syria mm -hmm. previously. Yeah. It is now coming out that the rebels probably released this chemical. But that's not stopping the war machine, is it? No. But look at the people of the UK and the US. How encouraging is it? It is encouraging, that, that yes. The two most warlike nations on this planet, mm. the US and UK, closely followed by France. Yeah. Have been stopped in the tracks. And there is, it's no coincidence, by the way, mm. that those three countries, UK, US, and France, have got the highest taxation of their populations. Mm. Yeah. No coincidence at all. They haven't attacked Syria yet. No. And you can see they bloody wanted to. They did, yeah. The they Americans have been dying to do it. They have, yeah. They're going to. Oh, Make no mistake, they're I, going to. It's inevitable. You it's know, the propaganda is absolutely outrageous mm. now. Yeah, it'll cut it. They're going to do it. They will. They'll manufacture it so that they're in there. And, and and killing, <laughs> they use the excuse that they're going in to, to stop them using chemicals. They're going to end up killing more civilians by indiscriminate bombing. They can't even use the drones properly. Uh, killing innocent people with the drones as well. You just think, no, come on, we, how how long do we have to sit and take this rubbish from them? That, that, they, that they can make these weapons so that they can use a laser and they can target and hit a specific point and nobody, and, and it's all lies. The amount of people that get injured and, and killed and maimed and, and 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 the pictures they put on as well. We you've got to start looking at the pictures that they put up. Uh, I, I I was sat with um, it was Pete actually, and the news came on. I think it was Pete, and um, they, they replayed the picture of that the, the little kid is wandering about and crying and holding the noses and things. 
and there was a woman in the background just going about a normal business with a bag over her shoulder looking round at everybody as though what what you're doing <laughs> and it you when you it's when you start to look through past the pictures because yep. your eyes are drawn to the little children running about and crying yeah. and things yep. Yep. and yet and I, that was a set up picture definitely without a doubt definitely a set up <laughs> <laughs> so we it's propaganda we, they they brought in the radio for the first world war the for finance jp morgan finance mark to the get box. the radio that in came in a box yeah and then along came the telephone, <laughs> and we put that in a <laughs> in a box. box. <laughs> yeah. Then along came the television set, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that was a mm -hmm. box. <laughs> <laughs> and all propaganda to to fuel the war machine. Do you remember Doctor Who's telephone box? Telephone box. box the yeah. police telephone box. Mm. The TARDIS. <laughs> is this not the TARDIS? It is. <laughs> is this not it? Mm. Is this not what they were creating? Mm -hmm that you can step inside an imaginary box and go wherever you want mm. without actually going anywhere. <laughs> Isn't this it? Is this it? Is yep. this it? Mm. Yeah. It certainly is. The doctor showed me a new world. <laughs> I'm thinking about that now. Billy Piper, wasn't it? Mm. Billy Piper. Yeah, I'm thinking about that now. Let me have a little think. God, what if I've got that? While you're trying to find that, I was doing the correlation the other day of, of our timeline and Sirius' timeline. And, and I was trying to liken it to times in history here. And I got it down to um, the parliamentarians and the, and the, the royalists, which was Cromwell mm -hmm. and King Charles, and they were at loggerheads, weren't they? And uh, I, I, need, I probably need to do some research on that, actually, and find out who financed Cromwell. Cromwell just killed everybody who was against he him. Just, he did. He was a horrible... He, he just killed him. He was a tyrant a, and a terrible person. Uh, but it forged this, this country's history. Now, are Syria, are Syria going through that process at the moment? I don't know. They, they're just calling them rebels. What would you have called, if you were a parliamentarian at the time, I don't know what they called um, Cromwell. Was he a terrorist? Was he an activist? A tyrant. <laughs> Was he a, t yeah, a, a tyrant? A tyrant. A dictator. Uh, and, and a dictator. Um, because if you dared to disagree, you were dead. You were, yeah, shut off your head and yeah. shot you and... And we, we have local history to that. I think he stayed not far down the road at Ripley Castle, didn't he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, apparently so, yeah. Because they, 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 some of the loyalist, royalists were on the side of the parliamentarians because of p the power shift. But it's just, we, we've just gone through all these things a lot earlier. Uh, and the, the book I'm reading at the moment tells this in the, the Industrial Revolution. We went through the Industrial level Revolution in the in the 1600s, um, and 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 into this well the 1700s, yeah. But the the France and Germany didn't go into it till later. They went into it in about the 1800s because it took that time for the um, technology to catch up and be transported over there. But and you can it's see the control systems moving, can't you? You can. Uh, it's from, going it, from Italy to Spain to Portugal mm, to France to the UK to the US. Yeah. And now you can see it moving across to China. Went, yes. It's uh, moving east, isn't it? It is. It's moving east this time. Mm. Mm. I mean, I think this country can be proud of itself nowadays because I think we're making our people poorer faster than any other country, you know. Definitely. We're actually making them poorer faster. Mm. And uh, as for the education, it's not education, is it? It's... it's the education system's always been two tier. Well, it's been three tier, really, but two tiers that we're aware of. Mm. Yeah, and if I had, uh, we've discussed it before, if I had my time over again, I would go re educate myself. I know. Uh, but well, listen to us. It's, that, it's that's, the done. Old, that's the old dinosaurs, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, here we are now at this crazy age, mm. trying to learn what we should know. Yes. We should know this. And that's this is the embarrassment that I is. feel. Yeah. This is why, you know, this, this is, is why we do this. It is. It's, the record, it's, it's to keep our feet on the ground and share mm. what it is that, that, that we feel mm. and, ha and what we've learned along the mm. way. We did it the wrong way. We did do it the wrong way, but we did it the same as everybody else. Yes. So, but you know, we can blame ourselves, mm. but then we end up blaming other people. We do, yeah. And when we say to other people, we did it too. Mm. If you think we're personalising this and talking to you, well, by all but we're not. <laughs> we're actually openly furious and mm. frustrated about what happened to us and why we did what we did and how we did it. Mm. You know, I got married for the wrong reasons. I, I fancied her, but that wasn't enough. And I, d no. and I didn't stay married. No. Today's modern girls mm. are different to what I thought girls were. And I'm sure the girls will say, today's modern guys are different to what we thought guys <laughs> were. And you were saying that, you know, you think a large number of the male population is 
did you say nervous or scared or uncomfortable? And, and I think, why? But I agree with you. Mm -hmm. that, you know, I do get guys coming in the shop and um, it's the old adage that I always use. And that is that um, the girl always tells the guy that she's going out. But the guy has to ask if he can. More often than not, the girl is the financial controller mm. and she'll give the guy his pocket money. More often than not, um, you know, the, the girls are consulted on everything and it's their decision that becomes the final one. I realise the power structure equalised but then tilted a little further, didn't it? Mm. But that's the world we live in. Yeah. And that's why I don't choose to, you know, I haven't chosen to uh, to, to continue that world and, and that way of living. Because mm. I'm not comfortable with it. No. You no. know, I, I mean, I remember a, a relationship that I had, and it all ended on this. And that was that I invited her to go to a, a certain place two weeks in advance. I'm going to my friends for this reason, and I would like you to come. And she said, I don't want to come. And I said, well, okay, well, we'll, we'll you know, as the time gets closer, perhaps she'll change your mind. So we get into the night. And I said, I'm going to where I said I was going two weeks ago. But I don't want you to. I said, but I want you to come with me. But I don't want you to. I said, but I want you to come with me. So, I don't want to stay home because I want to go here. And you don't want to come with me because you want me to stay here. So I've got to make a decision here. So I'm afraid I'm going. The relationship ended. Mm -hmm. For that reason. And, and that's what mm -hmm. I learned. That I wasn't allowed to do what I wanted mm. in that relationship. Yeah. It was uncomfortable, mm. but that's what happened. Mm. And I think in today's modern world, because the girls' roles changed enormously, hasn't it? Mm. The girls don't stay home anymore. They have to go out and work as hard as everybody else. They do, yeah. Everything is backwards. Mm. Or at least everything is upside down to what we thought. Twice the time. That is a Steve Jobs quote, isn't it? Mm. Well done, Steve Jobs, because he's quite right. Mm. He is quite right. I yeah. mean, it's... When you, when you start this, this sort of education, and it starts at a reasonably early age now, about three, mm -hmm. you know, you learn the basics of facial recognition and whether you, your parents are happy to see you or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think we miss a lot on facial recognition, by the way. I personally think that uh, there's a lot to be read in a face, and we very rarely look at people when we're talking to them. We, we make sure that they're looking at us, but we don't actually do the eye contact for a long time. Mm. Now, I'm doing it to you on purpose yeah. now, <laughs> and you're nodding away at me saying that we don't do the eye contact for a long we time, do, do we? Because no. I've actually, all the way I've been talking, I've actually not lost eye contact with you. No. And Some people find it uncomfortable. Yeah, but you know I'm doing it on purpose, because I'm telling <laughs> you why I'm doing it. Yeah. But am I right in saying that we don't do this very often, do we? No, we don't. We look no. and check and then look away, look and check and look away, look and check and look away. Mm. And there is an awful lot of information in the face that we learned when we're babies, that we forget when we get older, you know. Mm. There are some very, very important triggers that we need to look for. If we learned those, I don't think we'd make as many social faux pas as perhaps we do no. sometimes. <laughs> Back to Steve Jobs and the bite out of the apple. I mean, you can't say they don't tell you, can you? <laughs> you can't say they don't tell you. <laughs> have we got a new Apple fingerprint phone out today as well? And the yes. kids have gone nuts for it. Smartphone 5. Do you know, it's always been the same, this system, and, and I know we like to, to make it sound as if it's worse today than it ever was. And in some respects, it is. Mm. In some respects, yeah, the kids financially find it much harder than we did. We've done that before, haven't we? Some people, some old fully duddies dinosaurs will say, oh, no, the kids financially have a lot more difficult time than, me, than we do. Mm. And because of that reason, they have a lot of, uh, they have to, work very hard to get past the actual age of 15, don't they? Mm -hmm. Because if you go from 15 onwards, I had my moped, then I had my motorbike, then I had my car, and a number of girlfriends along the way, and then a couple of serious ones, and then a really serious one, by which time I'd saved up enough to buy a little house, <laughs> and we'd been on holiday. You know, and, and it, it, all the rights, you know, I'd, mm. and I'd, I was on my third job by then, I think, and I'd found one that was... I was actually Being working light. for the. Well, I was working for the Ministry of Attack. Actually, <laughs> my first job was putting um, tires and exhausts on cars. Uh, my second job was, oh, my second job was the Ministry of Attack, and my third job was driving a van. <laughs> but th that's how I started, mm. and then and then you know I moved on and I joined the fire service and things. You know, things changed for me. Yeah, but, and and it worked out okay. But what I'm saying is, the kids don't have the early. They don't have the early opportunities there for the actually going out and getting a job that perhaps they don't want, but they've got it anyway. Mm -hmm. There was plenty of jobs around, wasn't there? Yeah. We never once thought we wouldn't get a job, did no. we? 
And uh, every, every successful person, I think, that we look up to in this world that we live today, the ones that we look up to, they'll all tell you the same story, I think, or at least the majority will tell you, that nothing was given to them. They had to want it. Yeah. They had to really want it. Not just, I want it. They mm. had to give up things for it. Because we've spoke about this before. This world's a trade, isn't it? It is a Life trade, Life is yeah. a trade. Mm. And you trade your energy or time, which is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because money is only representative of energy. You trade your energy for, 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 for whatever it is you trade it for. And it's what you get in return. Mm. Is it any use to you? Now, we have today as kids, and the majority, and I was guilty. I left school at 16, never looked back. Didn't want to didn't stay on at school. But things were different then. I knew I could get a job, and I knew I could add up. Yeah. And I could read, and I could write properly. So I knew I'd get a job. That's mm. not quite the same today, is it? And even if you can get a job today, the actual monetary value that you get paid mm. is a lot less. It is a you, lot you less. You can do a lot less with it. Mm. You can survive, yeah. but you can't save. No. You can't <coughs> save. <coughs> and if you can save... Mm. The banks change the rules again, so you can't afford to buy. Yeah. So you either live at home until you've got your deposit, mm -hmm. or you go rented and never find it. Mm. So it's always been that way, Paul. Well, it, know, it, it, it has to a point, but the value that you have to give up to exist now is higher. It's higher, yes. You know, we only go back to the 60s and 50s, mm. where in most cases, mum didn't have to work. Girls have always worked, mm -hmm. but they've always worked for the extra. There's always been single mums. There's always been families with... Families used to ha <laughs> I'm, get, I'm going further back in time here. Families used to... Guys and girls used to get together. And when they got married, the number one reason for getting married was... To have kids. To have kids. Mm -hmm. And why did you have kids? Because the, the, the actual deal was, you looked after them when they were young, mm -hmm. and they looked, looked after, after you when you were older. older yeah. And, and all, all, all adults knew this. We didn't have a welfare system like we've got now. Yeah. We had to look after each other. You did one and they did the other. Mm -hmm. and, and you had three or four kids. Yeah. In case one or two didn't make it or moved away, mm -hmm. there'd always be one that would help you. Mm -hmm. And in came the welfare system. And over time, they've managed to get us to not remember mm -hmm. that having kids was what we got married for. Yeah. So when I see people who are getting married now and I say, and are you having kids? And they say, oh, we don't know, um, I'm not quite sure, Me which means no. Mm. Actually, they dance around, but they mean no. They mean no, yeah. So I think, well, why did you get married? <coughs> why, why did you get married? I mean, at what point did you ask the government to get married when you had no real reason for doing it? Because mm. you used to get a tax code bonus. You did. That's gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it's, gone. It's gone. Well, you you don't get that anymore. <laughs> married married man, and it was also on the man's, wasn't it, as well? Well, married yeah, man's yeah, allowance. it was only the 70s that we started changing, <laughs> remember? I mean, girls couldn't even have a loan in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. And if, if a girl did want a loan in the early 70s, she had to get a guy to guarantee it for mm -hmm. her, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it's true, that. Yeah, we, we've, we've forgotten all this. Yeah, we forget all on. these little things. Yeah. So, it is harder for the kids nowadays to get through those early days of independence and experience. Mm -hmm. It is very hard. And because they can't experience that they don't get it do they so at what point after 15 are they continuing to grow up mm -hmm. it's difficult isn't it? it is sounds like i'm kicking the kids i'm not kicking the kids this you know where this is going to end with me don't you mm -hmm. you know where i'm going <laughs> who am i going to kick <laughs> <laughs> who am i going to kick the i'm going to kick the bloody parents yes. yeah because this is not the school's job to educate your children really you know no. not really it wasn't when you hand over um the ability to somebody else, and you'll say, look, I'll pay you, you educate them. All right, I understand this system makes you do that. I understand mm. you have to send your kids to school. I know. But don't blame them for the results. If you wanted to change the results, then you should have taught them yourself. Yeah. Mm. And then we get on to the university fees. Yeah. And this is where the people at the, perhaps, some people are applying to go to university who, who, mm, wouldn't normally have done so in the past. Yeah. Now I can appreciate why they're trying to better themselves. But if your if your actual <laughs> exam results are a bit mediocre when you're sixteen, what made you think going to university mm -hmm. was going to improve that? Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't get the hang of education for free until you were sixteen, you're really going to try and convince me that getting into forty or fifty grand debt going to make you do it. Mm -hmm. 
I mm. don't think so. No. I am hearing stories that um, <coughs> banks are turning the youngsters down, the ones that, you know, wouldn't normally have gone to university. So it's a real difficult conversation, isn't it? It is, Because yeah. they want to better themselves, but mm -hmm. they've had 16 years and not done it yet. Yeah. So you think, look, you're 16, you're asking me to sign a form here to give you a student loan. So it's going to end up with a, a fee of over 30 grand that you're going to owe me. Mm. And you didn't do very well in the first sort of 12 years of learning. Mm. And you want me to give you 30 grand so you can do better by getting somebody else to do the same. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> it's a mess, isn't it? It's, we are in a mess, yeah. It's Some people say it's the system that does all this. Mm. But the more I realise, and the more I read, mm. the more I realise. Yeah. Well, this is where we end up. It is because where we of end how up. we think and how we feel and what we do I, uh, and what we believe. I, uh, chatting to a uh, lad who's in his second year of um, doing maths at uh, Worcester University, uh -huh. and uh, I did that little thing that you do with people and uh, saying working out his student debt and how long it'll take yeah, him to pay, this. pay yeah, it you back. This school, yeah. and, and he actually looked at me and said, "I'm embarrassed." He said, "I've never done that before." I've never, wa I've never sat and worked well, it goes, out. That goes along with the story run. that I told before oh, you're about doing maths. <laughs> but that's the one. That, remember the pad and the pen yeah, one. The next pad and the pen, remember yeah. the pad and the pen one. Mm. We're forgetting things that we used to know. We're forgetting yeah. things that we used to take for granted, and we're not mm. teaching things that we used to take no, for granted before. No. Now, some say that the, the the actual curriculum is too full, and we have to let we have to take things off to include the new things that we need. Mm. And, and I can see that, but. I'm not convinced it's right. I'm not, I, mean, I, I like the excuse, but I'm not convinced it's correct at all. I mean, I think actually you should be choosing the um, the actual subjects that you want to, to study yeah. after primary. Mm. I don't think you should spend the first is it three years. Is it the first three years in your secondary where you're doing compulsories? Yes, it is. Yeah, first three think, years. Yeah, yeah and I, then I, you choose your subjects in the fourth. Year, I think you? you know the, the, those first three years before you get to your um, choices. Mm. I think you should just be doing maths, English, and science myself. <laughs> but that's the world. Mm. Maths, English, and science. Uh, anything mm -hmm. else is, you know, is is secondary mm -hmm. because it's a it secondary education that you're going it for. It's a secondary education. Yeah. You know, you really want another primary education. Really, you want to be primary educated. Mm. But again, that's a bit upside down as well, isn't it? <laughs> it is, <yeah. laughs> you need to read and write and add up. <laughs> but as for the secondary education, I'm not convinced. I mean, we should ask questions of the system because it's it's not turned out what we thought, is it? No. It isn't, no, and that's... It's not turned out a nation of thinkers. Now, most people who have listened to this for the past week or two and know that I'm, I'm reading Bertrand Russell. And I've done unpopular essays, I've done marriage and morals, I'm ploughing through them because they're easy to read. Mm -hmm. They're easy to read. And, and anybody who doesn't know Bertrand Russell, hasn't read anything about Bertrand Russell, will make the mistake that I did. And I thought he was a eugenicist. Mm -hmm. I thought he was sitting at the top table saying that we need to get rid of some of these people. I've read the books, that's not what he says at all. That's not what he says at all. I now learn that he was an activist. I now learn that he was in prison. He was actually prison for his views. He argued and, and didn't agree with anything that was going on with education. I think I would have liked him. <laughs> I think I would have liked him. He writes in a way that makes me smile because he just says it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care what people think. He just says it. Mm. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm actually absolutely fine mm. with that. Yeah. We, we need to be more direct, don't we, now? It, We've, we've had all the, well, I've done the politicians and, and they gloss it up and evade the question and go around the outside. Um, and, and I think that's why I'd, I'd love to stand as a, as, not as a politician, but as, a, as, as somebody that would go into Parliament. And I, I, I've watched a bit of George Galloway and all that. And, and I, I did follow him to some extent, a little bit, until he went in the Brig Brother house and then... He just, I, 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 yeah, I went off him then. I thought, no, you're in this for the wrong reasons. But that was uh, a bit spooky, wasn't it? Actually? Yeah, I mean, I know he was trying to be funny, and he knew he was on TV <sighs> and that. But he needed the money, though, didn't he? And we always come follow the money, come back to the money. <laughs> we all need that horrible stuff. You can't stop being a politician. No, did, no. Did, did, <laughs> if if you want to be a politician, there is there is a, a train of thought that says. If you want to be a politician, that qualifies you never to be one. Never to be, <laughs> never yeah. Never to be one. I, 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 um, because I grew up with it. Uh, I, I, uh, my, my granddad was, a, he was actually a communist. He contributed to the Communist Party, but he, he went through the, the war. Um, and he, 
And you tried to talk to people that went but through the war. But communism was socialism they then. They didn't like to talk about it. You see, it. we've been told communism, socialism yes, it, here. I know. It was, the people it was, at the bottom say, we should share. Yeah. Because I've got nothing. I know. We, we, just, we should share because the world's, the world's ours to share. It doesn't belong to anyone. It belongs to us all. Mm. I know it does in Disneyland, yeah. but this isn't bloody Disneyland, is it? No, and it, the, it, when he came out the war, he lived, he lived with me, with his in-laws, me, with me, gram, uh, me great-grandma and me grandpa, I called him my grandpa, grandma and grandpa, and then they split the house in two, they lived in one side, and my nan and granddad lived in the other side, and and it was just a council house, he, never, he, he was a builder, and, and bricklaying stone and he built houses, b built some beautiful houses for people, barn conversions, and I worked with him. And, Nothing's and he, changed, has it? And no. We it, build it for other people because we can never have we it never ourselves. Had, and he knew he could never have it himself. He could, he, and, uh, so what he did was, he got a regular council house and halved it. Yes. And then between them they paid for that they one. They paid for that. And then what happened? No, no, they just rented it. They just oh. paid the rent, that's all they did. They paid the rent and uh, we took him out in his box and took him up to the crematorium and, it, and he'd saved a thousand pounds, that's all he had. For, um, and me and my brother had to cough up some money towards it because he didn't have enough to actually even get uh, to, to no, cremate my, himself. No, one of my granddads was the <laughs> same as well. <laughs> but, it, but, it, um, but he lived his life to the full I, I'm, I'm, um, and, and anybody that knew him, everywhere we went he knew somebody. Yeah, but you're talking um, about him, so he's not really, he's not, oh, dead. No, he's not, no. he's not gone forever. No, I mean, well, my granddad used to say to us, he's, he, you're not dead until those people that are around to remember you, you can't remember you, then, you, then you're dead. That, no, I think I like him already. Yeah, yeah, he were, uh, but he had his faults, he, he was, uh, uh, um, my wife and, uh, my wife didn't quite get on with him, she, she had a laugh with him, and a, uh, but he was a bit of a chauvinist. <laughs> All the same, and but, uh, but every generation gets a different, a, yeah. a slightly different coat in the other ones. They don't do, they? yeah, yeah. It is a little bit different. Mm. You know, the picture changes as time goes by, and yeah. that picture is TV, isn't it? It is, yeah. The electronic babysitter does mm. change things over time. Just to yeah. I mean, I actually watched last night on Channel Four Blackout. Now, uh, did now you see a little bit? No, of it? no, I didn't see it. I was working away in Leeds, so I right. didn't see it. I enjoyed it in, in a way that was uncomfortable mm. because. It seemed, you know, it was well put together. Channel Four. I mean, we'll put it. I'll put it below the uh, the YouTube video that this turns into tomorrow. My wife watched it and she she rang me. And she says, "I've just been watching that blackout." And I said, "All oh, right." Uh, and and she says, "I know what you mean about you wanted to get a generator now." <laughs> 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 well, the funny thing about that is that the guy who had the generator <laughs> didn't switch it on <laughs> because everybody could hear it. She explained. And then what happened was he brought it into the house thinking, I'll have to put it on at some time. <laughs> well, they just broke into his house and stole and it. Stole it, and yeah. And punched him on the nose end yeah. for his privilege. I know. Fear again, isn't it? Fear. Yeah, hey, do you? Well, well anyway. I, actually, I watched Blackout and it was good. It was good. And without going, out into, going into detail, don't want to spoil it for anybody. Although it's not, it's not a story with a happy ending. It just... It's about the electric going off in the UK for seven days. Mm. And it's a number of bloggers and people with mobile phones. It's, and after the event, put together what happened during the seven days. Mm. And the one thing that it does confirm for me that I actually, I've always known is true, is despite, despite all the lovely caring, sharing, fluffy, it'll be all right in the end, hugging, kissing, sort of, right? Despite that, yeah. when it comes down to it, this blackout finished with one guy going into a supermarket to try and find something to eat. And there was one or two bits and pieces left on the shelves, for whatever reasons. The supermarket was in darkness. He got himself a trolley, and he started putting the things in his trolley. And he only had uh, a few things. But what, what I did see was there was, um, I've forgotten what product it was, but there was like two thirds of a case of a can of products left, you know, like two thirds of an open case. And he took one out of the case and then thought, oh, sod it. I'll and have took the whole case. <laughs> and this was one of the good guys in Blackout. And then he started going around the supermarket with his little torch and whatever he found, he just thrown in the trolley. And at the end of one of the aisles, a face looms from the darkness and they fight. Oh, over and what they we're fight. Left. And they fight what's for what's in that trolley. Mm. And this isn't just any old fight. We don't get to know if the guy died. But we do hear the severity of the fight. Of the fight. Mm. So regardless of what you think the world would be like if anarchy was allowed to reign, mm. I'm going to tell you, it will come down to who wants it most. Mm. 
And if you are not prepared to fight, you'll starve. So it was an interesting programme, Channel 4. Well done, Channel 4. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure it'll scare the life out of kids. Mm -hmm. And another thing that this programme, Blackout, did was, uh, more than one time, the kids were seen to be blaming the government for the lack of electric. Mm -hmm. Might not mean much to many people, that. <laughs> the government don't provide the electric. They don't. No. <laughs> but... Have we got us that the government makes the grass grow? <laughs> the government <laughs> makes the sun shine. That's an old one, isn't it? It is, yeah. I'll try and find that one, yeah. maybe. The government doesn't actually give us anything that it's not previously taken from us in no, the past. And, and it gives us less back than it took. It did, yeah. It always will and it always has. We sell it back to us. You're listening to The Unpen Show with me, Paul. And me, Andy. It is the 10th of September, 2013. We are live on Blog Talk and on AwakeRadio.co.uk. And if you're listening on YouTube, thank you for doing so. This is the edit of the show that we did the night prior Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The edit doesn't include any of the songs or clips because nope. only YouTube are allowed to play those. Yes. So we have to take them all out. But the show, in its entirety, will be below this YouTube video. And the songs and the clips that we play are very much an integral part of our show. They are. We are back then, our last segment of the evening. It is Tuesday, the 10th of September 2013, and I think the score in the football was nil-nil. Oh, very good. So there we are. They travelled all that way to, um... Yeah. No, no, Scott. Oh. No, no, Scott. They'll have added to global warming. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's, global warming's not for them. <laughs> it's not for them, it's for us. Oh, no, it's for us, yeah. It's for us. No, 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 it's for us. No. Yeah. Remember your place, slave. Mm. Yeah, remember your course, place. Course. If you want to fight out of, <laughs> if you want to fight out of the pit that you're in, um, go right ahead and do so. Mm. Go mm. right ahead and do so. Mm. But don't moan about being a bloody slave. No, no, I you mustn't moan about no, being I a slave. All right, I must be thankful. Because when you find out about a slave and you still moan about being a slave, yes. That's even daft of the not it knowing, is. isn't it? it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's even daft of the not bloody knowing. <laughs> so let's change subjects a little bit because. <clears throat> this system is hell bent on dividing the family. It certainly is. We have the highest divorce rate in Europe. We also have the highest rate of crime in the European countries. And I will find the statistics for that next week. Mm. Uh, I've just remembered it. It's like I've, I've got those, I've got those, but they're on the other computer. I, I, I forgot to bring them in. But we do have the highest rate of crime. We do have the highest divorce rate. We do have the highest rate of single mums. And we are making our population poorer faster than nearly any other, any other country. Mm -hmm. Now, I think these are reasons for concern. I really do think these are reasons for concern. And if you don't, you shouldn't be listening to this program. Mm -hmm. You really shouldn't be listening. This is not for you. You should be in bed by now. Mm -hmm. You know, with your hot water bottle and your, you know, your, your books, holics. bunny, bloody pillow. Yeah. yeah. You know, this isn't for you at all. And I, uh, if I've upset you, well, tough. But when we get, when we get to a certain age... You're reminded of the importance of family, aren't you? Mm -hmm. you I mean, I, I, <clears throat> I've lost a lot of mine now. Mm. And I've lost my mum and my dad. Mm -hmm. Grandmas and granddads went a little while ago. Yeah. And now my uncles, you know, have lost two of those. Mm -hmm. uh, still three left. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this because it's a reminder for me mm. that who's going to come to my funeral? Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's, yeah, yeah. And that's, it's, this is not a silly thing. No. It's called that I've spent so much time working to have what I have. Mm. And now I seem to be so insular, reading my books and minding my own business and getting mm -hmm. on. And you think, God, yeah. Mm. Whereabouts? Who, who, who would come? Yeah. It is. It, it's, a, it's a bit scary, isn't it? It is a bit scary, yeah. And it, I'm thinking back to funerals. My, my, both my grandma and my granddad. It's because we're at that age where on, we're starting to go to them, isn't it? That's, what my, it, that's what's making me think side, of it, yeah. um, it, They packed out the crematorium. In fact, they were standing out. They had to open the doors. And they were standing out in the foyer in the back. Yeah, but I'd never thought of this before. And so I've sta I've sta I'm having to go to them now. Yeah, yeah. And it does, it does, doesn't mm. it? It does. It, it, it and younger and younger people as well. Yeah, that's yeah, well, a bit. yeah. But, but yeah... It, it does make you think and um, it's, it's when you get to that time and, you, and we've got here the top five regrets of the dying it's in the from the Guardian is this um, and it says um, 
a nurse had recorded this, hadn't she? Susie, is it? Oh no, that's Susie Steiner of the Guardian. A nurse has recorded the most common regret, regrets of the dying, and among the top ones is, "I wish I hadn't worked so hard." What would your biggest regret be if that was your last day of life? Do you know what mine would have been? I didn't tell enough people I loved them. Yeah, yeah. I, that that word love mm. that appears to be. It do, you don't hear it in the language with its proper use, do you? No. You hear, oh, I love that car, or I love that dress, mm. or I love that whatever. Mm. But that's its, that's its child use. Yeah. That's the childish use of the word. Mm. The actual depth of the word, it means, you know, I've had this conversation many times. What does love mean? Mm. Well, it appears to be a very personal answer, mm -hmm. depending on who you're talking to. Mm. So if I ask myself, what does love mean? It means to admire and respect, in my opinion, to admire and respect and to hope that uh, that person will be attracted to you. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And if they're not, it's not their fault. It's, no. It's yeah. yours. <laughs> yeah. You know, now, that admiration and, admiration and respect that you see in another, if they don't see it in you... Mm. It's you. It, yeah. It's, it's, it's you. Your, yeah. Yeah. It's to do with you, not them. Yeah. I mean, we live and use a language that's designed to make us, well, fight, actually. Mm. It, it's designed to make us fight. It does, unfortunately, yeah. And that's usually what ends up with the families, isn't it? You, you love your family, but you end up falling out with What's them. the Christmas day by three o'clock? The war has started. <laughs> Good job the Queen comes on and keeps <laughs> us... But, and, uh, but, I mean, I don't go into detail... But you back me up on this, don't you? Because mm -hmm. you've got you've got uncles and brothers, haven't you? Yeah, well, you've got yeah. brother in law and that I've sort got, of thing. Yeah, and, and um, we d we don't get I, I won't, we get together and we uh, and we go out for a meal or something like that, and not very often. And um, we don't seem to get together at Christmas and things like that. We tend to do all our own things, but that's basically because um, my mum and my stepdad are, they're Jehovah's Witnesses as well, and that 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 tends religion always tends to put a a great big wedge in the way of... It but it doesn't feel now, way. though, does it? It doesn't feel now. No, I've, I've put... We, we tend to... We have put a little bit of our feelings aside, but there, there is, there's always that little underlying... The thing about the Jehovah's is... They actually that, accept it all, don't they? They do, yeah, unfortunately. They don't question any of it. No. It's in the book. It, it happened. It happened, yeah. And it's going to happen. You know, and they're absolutely sure. They are, yeah. They've lived their whole life, their whole lives, thinking it's going to happen. mm and at no time do they think, it's not going to happen. No, no. I mean, the Jehovah's are almost programmed in a way, well, bring it on then, I don't want to miss it. Yeah, yeah. But in a way, aren't they? Now, they, here's a strange one. Uh, that they believe that they're going to inherit the earth, and they're going to be only... I know. Uh, Jehovah's going to... I know. ...met them, the only ones that inherit the earth. I know. But uh, my stepdad, he's had a triple heart bypass, and he, uh, he's, they found out he's got an, a, an aneurysm, and, they, and it's inoperable. So he's, he's got a ticking time bomb inside him. And um, it was some, it was something my brother said, and and he said y you're going to have to speak to Dad because he's really scared. And I, I, at that, I laughed on the phone, and Tony said, "What are you laughing at?" I says, I'm, "I says I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm laughing that he's scared. I, I don't know why he should be scared. Why? Why should? I, in his faith, tells him that, I was gonna say because that he's going to he be resurrected and he's going to come back. Yeah, but he doesn't." And it, 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 well, we can't answer that question, can no. we? We can ask, but we can't answer. But, yeah, and I, I but is is it strange. it's not religion, isn't it? Just the counterfeit version mm. of the awake. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, mm. are you scared of dying? No, no, and I'm not either. No, I'm definitely and, and, not. And, and no. if that's what happens to me, that's what happens to me. Mm. But I've discovered what I'm here for. Yes. Now, whether I can achieve that mission or not, I don't know. No, I mean either. But I'm going to try I'm and achieve that it a mission. Good try. And we sit here every week <laughs> recording our progress on the mission. Yeah. And do you know what the mission is? It's to be the best version of me I can be yes. before I'm gone. Mm. And then to leave that behind yeah. in somebody or some people's memories mm. so they can use it too. Mm. It, it isn't going into the furthest, farthest detail of everything. It's, it's to say this is who I am and this is what I was hoping to achieve. Mm. And I don't expect to believe it. But I'll be damn trying. Yeah. I will yeah. be damn near trying. Mm. It sounds all doom and gloom. Yeah. And that's not an easy thing to sell to anybody. 
so stop trying to sell it to people. <laughs> you think, yeah. people won't listen to me. Do you know why? It's because you're not speaking to them in a no, way that they're okay they're with. They're all right with it, yeah. It's, it, you're, it's not that that person you're speaking to dislikes everybody. Mm. Guess what? They dislike you. Mm. Get over yourself. <laughs> the reason why they are nasty to you is because they perceive you're attacking them. Mm. They think you're belittling them. They think you're condescending them. So they don't like you. Is it their fault for doing that? No. It wouldn't happen if you weren't talking to them, would it? Mm. Uh, yeah. Out of all the people in all the world, there is only one person in my life that I can say I trusted. And the reason why there's only one person is because my dad buzzed off when I was two. Mm. And I got two replacements. But they weren't my dad. No. They weren't. No. So I only had one person in the world that I could trust. Mm. And that was your mum. Yeah. Mm. She'd tell me the truth, mm. whether it hurt or not. Or not. Mm. You listen to the Unpen Show with me, Paul. And me, Andy. For another Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Good night. Don't forget your mum. Don't forget her. No. <laughs>